The Catapults by Haresh Shacharan, Brar Manon, and Bryson Corbett. So the problem we had was to set out and create a catapult and be able to accurately run a computer simulation of the catapult and predict the range and launch velocity when a styrofoam ball is launched. And pictured here you can see the catapult we made. We used wood and two rubber bands. So here's a video of the experiment. We pulled the catapult back 30 degrees to launch it and you can see that here. So next we needed to calculate the range, and to do that we needed the velocity multiplied by the time. To find the time, we needed to find the height of the catapults at which the ball was launched, which came out to be 36.83 centimeters. The height was then set equal to 1 half AT squared, and we found the time to be 0.27416 seconds. Next we needed to find the velocity. We used a stopwatch and a ruler, and the velocity came out to be about 4 meters per second. Multiplying this by the time, we got a range of 1.09663 meters. When we tested it out experimentally, however, we found the range to be 1.016 meters. The error is likely due to errors in calculating the velocity because of a stopwatch error. To find the launch velocity, theoretically, we needed to use conservation of energy. Energy initially equals energy final. So the potential energy from the rubber bands is converted to kinetic energy of the ball plus kinetic rotational energy of the lever arm. To find the potential energy in the system, we made a graph of force times arc length of the rubber band. Now we find the area underneath the graph, and that it turns out to be the potential energy of the system. So using the potential energy we found in the last slide, by finding the area underneath the graph, we set it equal to the kinetic energy of the styrofoam ball plus the rotational kinetic energy of the lever arm, and we found the velocity to be 4.27 meters per second. And here you can see a simulation of my computer program. The velocity, like we mentioned we found before, is 4.27 meters per second. The height launch from was the height of the lever arm, which was 36.83 centimeters. The mass of the ball was about 40 grams, and the radius of the ball was about 1 centimeter. And you can see that the range ends up being 1.172597 meters. You can see that over here, which isn't too far off from our original. And the results of the catapult experiment, as well as the simulation, did agree, albeit there were some minor differences due to the slight inaccuracies in collecting the data. Everything couldn't be perfect or exact, which accounts for the very minute difference in the range. Now, there are real-life applications of this project. Being able to accurately predict projectile motion is impossible by hand, and it is necessary to use a computer program. Although this simulation was extremely simplified, more advanced and accurate programs based on the same principles as this one are used to predict flight paths of planes, missiles, rockets, and spaceships.